What up, y'all? It is your boy Wee Pillar in the house today talking FIFA 14. Sorry I'm a day late, but I was on the plane just editing. Obviously, I couldn't commentate, so you guys in the UK got a heads up on us. You did get to see this stuff on Friday. Had some videos ready, and they dropped it on Embargo Day. What I'm going to do today is try to add a little bit of a Wee Pillar twist to this, make this fun, try to, you know, give you guys a little bit of insight on how I felt about the presentation that we saw. We were flown out to EA Redwood Studios, got to see the development team, and they were able to put together a little presentation for us. It was about 45 minutes long. They did show us gameplay. Unfortunately, they didn't give us gameplay to put into our videos, but you're seeing some test bed stuff right here. Just shots, knuckle shots, rising shots, the way the animations are different in FIFA 14 when they're going to attempt a shot. And it's all about contextual, you know, uh, gameplay. So here, if you're too close to the ball and you're trying to make that shot, the guy is obviously not going to be as accurate or as powerful, but we will talk about that more later. What I'm going to do is go over the key you know, features that they showed us in the presentation. Maybe, like I said, give a little bit of a wee peeler twist. Try to answer some questions. If you guys have any, you can leave them in the comment section below. What EA really stressed this year was scoring great goals and getting the emotion behind it. Getting that buildup that you see in the real world, making it realistic, getting a, you know, the tempo of the match correct, and making balanced games sprinting is a lot more difficult now because of the first touch dribbling and you know overall i just think it's going to make a more realistic game and that's what they're going for every year the key features that i will talk about today is the pure shot the real ball physics protecting the ball teammate intelligence sprint dribble turns variable dribble touches second chance tackles for defending curled lofted through balls which is sexy as hell uh skill games they've added skill games they've refined some skill games pretty cool stuff some decent things going on in career mode they didn't go super into it but there is some exciting stuff in there as well and the authenticity that they offer every year with all the licensing tons of players and all that good old stuff so first off we will talk about the pure shot i'll try to get the video you know synced in the pure shot looks pretty cool it's more about you know players doing angles having a certain type of step up to the ball to make the ball hit right, make it feel right, satisfying, and goals are now more rewarding as they were before. A lot of rehashed goals in FIFA 11, FIFA 12, FIFA 13. You see all the same type of goals. This year, with the added buildup and, you know, checks and balances, I guess, for what you can say for defense versus uh, offense, should be pretty fun. The pure shot looks pretty cool. As you showed in the test bed before, when the guy ran up to the ball, he had a couple little stutter steps in order to get his foot driven right into the sweet spot in the ball, right to the back of the net. It looks really, really good. Unfortunately, they only showed us one little test bed for us to give to you. We saw more of it in real, you know, real gameplay, and it looks really, really good. Real ball physics is something that they've revamped completely. They went back. They did a lot of research on how the ball moves, how the knuckleball, you know, how Ronaldo uh, kicks those crazy free kicks and the ball just seems to dip and move all over the place. There is now a swerve shot, which looks absolutely disgusting, kind of like Roberto Carlos' free kick against France when he shot that ball and it just had the trage trajectory of, of what the heck is going on here, you know? The ball just dipped and dived and moved all around. It is in the game, dude. It looks sick. One of the goals in the, uh, in the game that they showed us in gameplay was like whoa somebody had scored it in a uh, you know 1v1 in the the locker room when they were playing and it's just absolutely disgusting it, it looks so cool the, the ball was struck with force it was going curving to the left and then it took a dip back to the right and went right into the back of the net they said the guy was running around screaming in the office for about 10 minutes you know it's one of those really really emotional goals and hopefully there's a lot more of that in FIFA 14 protecting the ball is something that is a little bit more intuitive I guess in FIFA 14 whereas you know sprinting especially in ultimate team really really ruined the game in my opinion people who didn't really know what they were doing in the game or know how to play proper football would sprint down the wing and just use you know the extra pacey teams be able to cross it in and get a goal now protecting the ball I mean obviously they're shielding in FIFA 13 but it's not to the effect of this it looks like they're doing an RT LT trigger you know checks and balances type thing so when you have a defender um, you know trying to shield the ball you just a quick little LT is going to put himself in between the ball and the attacker and hopefully give that player a little bit more time to get rid of the ball make a good clearance make a good pass uh and again for sprinting you know the the first dribble touching the variable touches is it's I don't want to say it's refined and perfect yet, but what they're trying to get across is, you know, a Messi or Ronaldo, when they're sprinting with the ball, they almost have complete, perfect control. Now you have a Puyo who runs with the ball. Sprinting is not going to have that perfect touch. So hopefully the checks and balances will balance out. Like I said before, the little bit of an LT struggle I think is going to be awesome, where it's just a little bit of a quick LT. If you hold it longer, they're going to sit there and shield the ball. But if you run it up onto the ball and you're able to hit LT at the right time, the player is going to get in front of the ball, block him, 
into the other guy trying to get the ball, and that should give you enough time to, like I said, get the ball away, pass the ball, checks and balances. That's what it's all about this year, I hope. I mean, it looks pretty sweet. I like to play more possession football, build it up into getting, uh, you know, I play more in the middle of the field, so this is probably going to help me more than anybody. Uh, guys who, obviously, like I said, sprint, they might be knocked down from their pillar a little bit, you know, and that's hopefully what that protecting the ball is all about this year. Teammate intelligence, we talk about this every single year. Hello, make the AI better. Please help a brother out. I have nobody making runs for me. You know, they they introduced curving runs last year, which was a pretty decent thing. But now you have guys making runs along the back line, which is sick. They can make checks, too, onto a defender and get themselves just a little bit of a space. And then that's where these curved through balls are going to make awesome awesome sense, man. It, it looks so cool. And player, uh, they showed a, a actual gameplay of Ibrahimovic making a check on an English player in one of their ne- international games. Made a check, just got himself a little bit extra space. The guy curled it in, curled lofted through ball, and Ibrahimovic scored for the finish. It was beautiful. And they actually showed it in FIFA 14 in the gameplay, and it looked sexy as hell. Just a little check, enough to get your player enough space to get that ball and get that shot off. Uh, players, like I said, running along the back line looked pretty sweet instead of getting off sides, you know, and doing that stutter step that they did in 13 which looked absolutely ridiculous seemed like they did that stutter step and then never ran for you it was like come on make that run make that run now they're actually making the run or the run in parallel sorry perpendicular to the uh, defender give them enough space to get that curled lofted ball over and it looked really sweet so hopefully there's going to be a lot more attacking uh variety and making the game look a much more realistic and that's what we're looking for uh attacking players are just going to hopefully make new ways to outsmart their opponents and, and get down uh the pitch and get you better options to score so sprint dribble turns was something that they uh they've added into this game where before they were only able to say i think like 22 degree turns which wasn't a complete obviously 360 now if you're sprinting with the ball and you turn the other way they make an absolute quick stop momentum takes them across the ball and they're able to dribble back in the opposite direction that should be pretty sweet i haven't really seen it much in the game they didn't have gameplay footage of that they did have test bed footage and it looked pretty good man i'm I'm definitely looking forward to that because before you couldn't just stop on a dime and make that turn and really get yourself into position to get the ball away and uh you know keep your attack going it was just uh just a weird animation before so hopefully it's much more interesting this year variable dribble touches now i had uh I think I'm going to like this. It's more like a first touch control before that was introduced in FIFA 13 when the guys are getting the ball. You know, they have some sort of a funky bounce sometimes because players can't trap the ball perfectly every time. So sprinting before in FIFA 13... If you're dribbling in a straight line, no matter who you're dribbling with and you're sprinting, the ball is kicked in the same spot every single time so you can keep sprinting in a straight line perfectly. Now, FIFA 14, there is some variety in that. If you have a player who's dribbling with pace and is not the best at controlling the ball, the ball gets kicked off a little bit further and you have to run down the ball. Uh, That can be a very good thing in FIFA Ultimate Team. They did not talk about this. This is my own opinion, but in FIFA Ultimate Team, when dudes are building, you know, 3-5-2 Brazilian pace teams and all they do is run down the wing, cross in, this is going to keep the game a little bit more realistic, a little more balanced. If they're kicking the ball ahead and they just can't run that ball down, your defender is going to be able to use that LT button before, like I said, protecting the ball, get himself in between the attacker and the ball and clear that ball out. And that is great stuff. That's good to me, man, because I like I like playing, you know, obviously uh, FIFA Ultimate Team all the time. I'm sick of coming up against these guys who just sprint the hell out of everything and uh, gives it more of a, like I said before, checks and balances where I can get in block that ball that's kicked a little bit too far ahead and clear it out. So that is happy for me. Second chance tackles is also another option uh, that was added into FIFA 14, whereas before, if you broke, if you bit on a tackle, you were gone. I mean, you were burned if they got by you. So this year they've added in the first tackle, and you can also make a second tackle. Again, it's contextual. I mean, you're hitting the button, but it's it's up to the game, I guess, to, to really say if they're going to make that second tackle work or not. But at least they're going to give you a chance to do it. Before in FIFA 13, it was, you know, you were you were all in, hands down. And that's not good. I mean, if they, if they had the pace to get by you, they were by you and, and uh, in on goal. So hopefully the second chance tackles will add a little bit more of a... Uh, uh, variety in defending as well the curled lofted through balls like i talked before i think is going to make an immense immense difference in attacking it's not over the top through balls every single time and that's what i was thinking okay now they're curling through balls too this is even worse you know for us but they did show the defensive ai picking up the player who is getting the ball chipped to i mean it's it was amazing it was really cool watching the defense they they're marking players closer this year so before they showed gameplay of, you know, FIFA 13 defending, the guys were, you know, five yards away from somebody. When they're receiving the ball, they have every option in the world to pass it, dribble, you know, 
chip over the top through balls all day long. This year, they're they're containing better. They're getting uh, containing is a bad word, but they're marking closer, which gives the attacker a little bit less space to have a freedom to do whatever he wants to do, which is a great thing. And then, like I said, with these lofted through balls, the freaking defender actually picked up the guy who was making the run. It was beautiful. He ran right behind him. The guy received the ball. The defender was right there. Was able to get that ball, and uh, it was a beautiful thing to see. So hopefully, there is again, like I said, I'm, I'm going to say it all the time: checks and balances. It's a balance in, in FIFA 14, and that's what I like to see. The game is not catered to only people who sprint, and the game is not catered to only people who want to play possession football. They wanted the chance, and he clearly stated this, that the people who play possession football will have just as much chance to win the game as people who are going to sprint the hell out of everything. So, again, that's a really sweet thing. Skill games, they didn't touch too much. There was a new one they did show where... Um, like one touch passing, you have guys running in a cir- or guys in a circle, and there's a guy in the middle, and they're passing the ball back and forth, trying to keep the ball uh, going with one touch, and that looked pretty sweet, man. I was like, ah, that, that that could be interesting. They didn't talk about too much more skill games. They didn't talk about anything online, um, but that could be cool if they're having like some sort of a leaderboard. You can get online and play skill games, not just a game of FIFA. That could be pretty interesting. Uh, I know I like to see my name on leaderboards, so if uh, it comes down to push and shove, if you guys want to play some skill games online, and the option is there, hit me up. That could be cool. Uh, I didn't play too many skill games in FIFA 13. It seemed to be absolutely a really, really popular popular mode i think they said like three billion games of skill games were played i mean that's just ridiculous so something new hopefully they're going to refine it a little bit better get your player you know more fundamentally sound this is especially true for new players for fifa if they can get in you know learn the the nuances of the game how to dribble how to pass how to shoot how to chip uh that's definitely a good thing going into online mode because most of the dudes who play online well i shouldn't say most of the dudes a lot of dudes who play online are really good so If you get the fundamentals down, hopefully that will help you. Uh, Career mode is not something I was super interested in. I used to play only career mode. I was a manager mode freak. I didn't do anything online until about FIFA 11. Uh, FIFA 10, I really didn't play much. So yeah, it was FIFA 11. I jumped online, started doing uh, Ultimate Team. Career mode, though, I was career mode junkie. They're making more um, changes to career mode this year. There's a global scouting network here, which you can scout for the entire year, which is great. I think before you could just put a, a scout out and you played a couple games that came back with a yes or no. Um, also, the the network for searching is a little bit more refined. It's not, I want a guy who's 89 pace um you're going to look for a, a winger that's a pacey winger somebody who's a good crosser and that's the kind of traits they're going to look for so it's more trait oriented and i think that's pretty cool you know you can develop a player into hopefully a superstar someday but you're not just searching for those hard numbers and making the game you know unrealistic because i'm not going to go hey go me go in brazil and go find me a guy with 89 pace i mean hello that doesn't happen so pretty cool in career mode they did change the layout of it as well it looks a little bit more like fifa ultimate team uh, i will show you obviously screenshots in here looks pretty sweet so hopefully you guys with the career mode stuff are going to be very excited about the career mode this year i might even do something uh something new in fifa 14 maybe a little career mode series guys keep asking me in the comments below come on weeps do some career mode but haven't really gotten around to it just don't have a ton of time but if the want is there i might have to do it and uh yeah overall I really, really thought the uh, presentation was great. I think they did a good job at just doing what they needed to do and and bring new options into FIFA. I think it's going to be a great game. Again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. They told me that like 10 times. They're like, this is really not everything we have to tell you. So go home, you know, chew this, spit it out, and... uh, See what you guys think about it. And then we have plenty more coming. I think they're announcing the next big thing at E3. Um, obviously, there's a few more uh, events and, and things going on that where they release new stuff. So hopefully, it's going to be uh, the game that everybody really wants. And uh, obviously, feedback is key. So let me know what you guys think of this episode in the comment section below let me know uh, what you guys want to see what you guys don't want to see and uh yeah we'll go from there so hopefully hopefully you guys appreciate this and uh you know had a good time listening and until next time peace <laughs>